This is the all new 34 from Edgewater. Twin 425s. Nice big extended swim platforms. Dive door, real heavy duty ladder. This is probably the largest 34 foot boat I've seen. You know, just, just has a huge footprint to it. Very large hard top, very good looking lines, deep V. Nice built in swim ladder over on the starboard side. And then over on the port side, that extended swim platform does include a hatch to store a stern anchor, which is, is very nice to have at times. You can see the very deep V with the running pad surface, the large props that these 425s run. I will say these 425s are incredibly efficient. We're seeing better fuel, fuel economy out of these than the 350s. And the prop, the exhaust, which normally comes out of the prop of an outboard, is diverted under 2300 RPMs. So the, the low speed maneuverability around the dock has got to be the best I've ever experienced on an outboard powered boat. Um, it, it really is incredible. One between getting rid of those exhaust gases and then also just spinning those very, very large props that no other outboard in the industry is spinning. This boat is equipped with the Reverso automatic flushing system. Just plug your hose in, hit the button, automatically flushes your motors. We have our flush mounted transom rod holders across the back. You can see a very large transom area. If you're swimming, entertaining, in and out of the water diving. Huge fishing cockpit, entertaining cockpit, nice transom door, fold up seat is flush, There's some toe kick room underneath. We've got a 35 gallon live well in the transom, fresh and raw water washdowns. Notice how the gunnel is recessed for the dive door. Go ahead and walk around here. You've got wrap around holsters, cup holder, rod holder units throughout, extra rod holders, nice flush mount grab rail, JL audio speakers, very nice forward bow seating. This is our lounge area here. Nice lounge. You'll notice it's more recessed down in the boat than some of the other boats. Some boats are, are pretty high up and you, when you sit there your your head is in front of the driver uh, the way this is designed you're sitting low enough that uh, you do not impede the vision of the driver at all and all these cushions are removable as well so you can get them out of the weather it's that Ford lounge now opened up you see the rod storage dive tank storage incredible amount of storage I would say it's probably four feet deep that hatch down in there is access to our house batteries and there is a step down in there as well if you want to step down in there for cleaning or anything and also a unique feature is this is lockable uh, you'll notice most uh, boats uh, storage underneath the lounge here is not lockable but this one is very nice wraparound bow seating with the backrest the backrests are, are removable uh, you can also um, swing them out of the way and they will swing flush with the gunnels. There is a bow filler piece for this as well. So you can fill this in with a, with a cushion or pull the cushion off and have one big casting deck up here if wanted. Nice raised helm area. Very well laid out console. Deep cup holders. This boat is equipped with the Yamaha Helmmaster joystick system tilt wheel twin 16 inch displays that is the new yamaha display they purchased that from garmin so it actually can act as a third display on this boat that is the fusion apollo stereo 
large dash pad to be able to throw some items on nice richy compass another area down here cell phone stuff like that fit perfect just sitting on top of the console up in the hard top we've got our remote speaker for the vhf our garmin autopilot nice little glove box there actuated opening window we'll get some wind back here and as you can see excellent visibility our bilge access this is a uh, pretty awesome for a 34 foot boat very large probably four foot by four foot hatch this boat is available in a couple different ways in here here we have our bilge storage system five gallon buckets fit perfect in there uh, we've got storage drawers over there for anything from trolling weights to tools the to spare parts so come back here you can see the the excellent access, very clean rigging of an Edgewater. All of our pumps, fuel water separators, everything is labeled, double clamped, and even the ends of the clamps have little, little red things on there to keep you from getting cut when you're reaching around. And these sides of this storage in here lift right out. So if you're doing any kind of service and you need better access, that is easily obtained. Our leaning post in this one is equipped with the 12 volt refrigerator and tackle storage drawers along with a sink and a little prep area underneath that lid. We do have multiple different options for our leaning post in this boat. Another really neat feature is this boat's equipped with the new taco crank up accessory mounts. So what we have here on these three is the two outside ones are AM, FM, and VHF antennas, while the inside one is for our anchor light. So you're able to just crank them up and down from, from standing in the cockpit without having to climb up on top of the hard top. Nice, easily accessible rocket launchers across the back, not too tall. So Lumatech lighting, JL audio speakers, have our crank up taco outriggers and you do have a hatch that opens here and a nice ladder to access the hard top either for a second station or just to get up there and clean or jump off into the water this boat we do have equipped with front and rear shade systems as well with carbon fiber poles